Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, I am so excited to kick off the early fall decorating inspiration here on my channel. We are going to be starting off with six different ways you can style your entryway space for the early fall season. That way, if you're not quite ready to fully dive into fall decorating, this is a good reference video for you. And it's gonna be some good transitional options as well. It's still in the 80s and 90s here in North Carolina, but fall and winter are my absolute hands down favorite seasons to decorate for. So I always get an early start with it. I just can't contain myself, I'm too excited. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started on the first one. So we are going to start off with my go-to Pottery Barn vase. This mirror I got from Kirkland's this year. It is on a crazy good sale. And we're going to start off with these really beautiful, beautiful fern stems. I picked these up from Michael's recently. They are part of their new fall collection. And we're gonna add these. These are a good starting point. If you're not ready to dive into the full rustic fall colors just yet, but you don't want summer florals out anymore, this is a great option for you. So once all my stems are in the vase, I like to go through and make sure any of these specific branches that are just a little bit too straight, I'm bending them to give them a more natural look. And to that, we're going to add these book boxes. I DIY these to look like a McGee & Co. one. So I have a video I will link down below for that. And then I have this iron horse we're going to add. And now we're going to add these pine cone candle holders. I got these during Christmas last year, but they work just as well for the fall season too. And we're gonna add these taper candles. with this one if you prefer an asymmetrical look you can easily swap it by just moving the vase over and putting the book boxes in the middle that way I know a lot of people are concerned about blocking your mirror this way you have your arrangement to the side and you can still use your mirror functionally Let me know in the comments, do you prefer the centered arrangement or the asymmetrical one? So I've had these from Target for quite some time. These are so heavy. They're from, I think, two falls ago and I love the rustic look that they have so we're gonna do these and we're gonna start with adding in these green leaf stems these are from Hobby Lobby this is going to be that green stem with the twigs and lanterns when I shared the Hobby Lobby shop with me video so many of you guys want to know how i did this arrangement so this is how the how to and just be sure when you have new faux florals 
take all the stems that have the wire and bend them away from each other. It will give you a more full look and a more natural flow to your arrangement. Mine are already kind of bent around pretty well because I've had them for a couple years now. But we're just going to start off with a green base and then you can just take them and bend them down ever so slightly because some of them stick up just a little too straight sometimes. Now we are going to add the twigs. These are from Michaels, but I will have everything linked in the video description for you guys that I can. If something is discontinued, I will try to find something similar. So we're just going to put these in between the greenery. So I used six of the green leaf and I'm using three of the twigs. And for my front one, I'm bending it more than the others so that it has a lower profile. I don't want it to stick up super, super far. As so, fluff around as you need. Bend these twigs, these are a little bit too straight. These are newer because I couldn't find my other ones. So you want to bend and manipulate these around to give them a more natural look. I like to kind of stick to bending down, but you can also go up and down because obviously twigs don't grow perfectly straight. And lastly, we are going to add the Chinese lantern stems. I got these from Joann's a few years ago, but I saw some recently at World Market that look super, super similar to these. So I will have those linked in the video description. And these ones are going to rest just on top of the twig, but let them kind of naturally fall in between them. And just be careful when you're using these because they will break off if you're a little too rough with them. Again, separating them so they have a more natural flow. And the one that I will have in the front is again bent a little bit shorter. And to this we're adding the at-home candle holder that I know so many of you guys loved. The McGee & Co one, I'm um, sorry, the Studio McGee one from Target is not as substantial as this one. This one's metal. The Studio McGee one is plastic, so just keep that in mind if you're looking for a dupe. And the last touch is just adding a little acorn. So now we are bringing back the Pottery Barn vase. And we're going to add in these purple stems. These are from A Floral. They are definitely a splurge, but they are such a beautiful statement option. And this is just like how they come straight out of storage too. So they definitely hold themselves up pretty well over time. I absolutely love them. You could technically use them all year round, 
um, but I really love to use them for the fall season. And because this one's so full, I'm actually going to do this one asymmetrical as well so it doesn't collide into anything. Going to add my book boxes again. This iron leaf I found antiquing. And this brass apple canister is just such a fun touch for the early fall and fall season. And lastly, we're going to add in this anthropology candle. It's a Minka candle. It looks like the pot. You can get a matching pot and use this as one once it runs out. This one has a really, really beautiful smell to it. Okay, so moving on to number four. This is a vase I actually DIY'd recently to look like one of those Muju kind of jars. And we're going to be adding in these really beautiful blue thistle stems. These are from Hobby Lobby. They are one of my absolute favorite stems that they carry for the fall season. They look beautiful on their own, but if you watched my Hobby Lobby Fall Shop With Me video, um, I had shared a picture of these styled with the oat seed spray and the blackberry stems from there too. So you can always build on it if you want a more full arrangement style. But I thought it would be fun to give these a different look than I usually do. I just wanted to say a quick thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today. If this was your first time here, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my YouTube family. I have plenty more early fall decorating ideas coming your way, so you don't want to miss out on those. And for this one, I thought I would try something different, so I'm going to add a tray. This is that same Minka candle, but this one is a different scent. Oh, it smells so good too. It's definitely more subtle. If you've smelled Anthropology's Capri Blue, that one can be very um, vibrant. I don't know, potent? Potent is probably a better word. This one and that black one are much softer. Here's the label for it. It is fern moss, so it has fern leaves, crushed sage, and white birch, and it smells so good. And to that, we'll add this iron candle snuffer and this little terracotta pot I found recently. And this little pot can be styled two ways. I have some smaller clippings of the Hobby Lobby Baby's Breath. So you could easily 
do it like this for like a subtle little touch. Or another option would be adding in some dried florals. This is really going to be a good option to set the tone for the fall season without screaming fall. And to this one, I'm going to add in these Japanese maple stems. I recently found these at, at home. They were super affordable. I think they were only $7.99 a stem, which is a great price for a statement floral. And I thought that these would be great, obviously, during like actual fall, but they're a great transitional one too because the leaves still have a hint of green. So it's like the changing of the seasons. So it really resonated with me and I thought that these would be such a fun, fun touch. And again, just like with the other stems, make sure you're sitting there and taking the time. I've obviously already fluffed mine before I put them in this vase, but taking the time to fluff and adequately bend your stems around will give you that much nicer of a look. And now we will be adding this New England Landscapes faux book box. and adding a hook. These are the bells from Hobby Lobby. This is the bigger size. And this is the smaller one. So we'll put those there. And I found these really awesome leaf trays from Kirkland's. They are a gold leaf, so they do, unfortunately, come off on your fingers, as you can see. But I love the big one, how it has all the veining and everything in it. I wish the smaller one looked like that, too. But I thought it would be fun for the fall season to have these stacked with each other for a fun fall touch. This one is another one, if you don't like the asymmetrical look, you can easily just swap it into the center. Just like the earlier one, which one do you guys prefer? The centered arrangement or the asymmetrical? Let me know in the comments.
for our last one, I have these rust magnolia stems. These were from Target last year. I have not been able to find a similar stem to these. The closest one is on a floral and they are really, really pricey. So I will keep my eyes open. If I find something similar, I will be sure to update the description to include it. And we're gonna switch this to this side. And add in this marble tray. This is part of the Fall Studio McGee line. And lastly, this brown pitcher I found antiquing. So that is going to wrap up today's video, friends. I sure hope that you enjoyed and got lots of decorating ideas and inspiration. Again, this video is coming out early, so all of you home decor planners like myself can still get your hands on items before they sell out. Come September, things are already gonna be flying off the shelves as they are already. So that way you can get some ideas for what you would like to do in your spaces early. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know which one your favorite was. All the links will be in the video description, but if I missed anything, let me know and I am happy to help. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today and I will see you in my next video. Bye.